Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. So today we will learn how to send emails using shell scripting. Sending emails using shell scripting can be very useful for automated notifications, error alerts or any other form of communication that needs to be sent without manual intervention. So first let's see the prerequisites. You should have an AWS account with Ubuntu 24.04, which is its latest version. EC2 instance of Android. Then you should have basic knowledge of shell scripting. So let's move with the practical. So our first step is generate the app password. So to generate the app password, go to Google account. Go to the Google account and in the search bar, search for add password. Enter your email ID password to verify it. Save. Now, give the admin to create a password. You can give it any name like shell scripting. Click on save to generate the password. Now, our ad password is generated. So, let's copy it and save it or we are using it later. The stop is like in not right. Now, our next step is create a file in Ubuntu. First, create a new file using the nano command. Now inside that file, we are going to write a script. So our next step is write a script to send email. So this is the basis script. So let's copy. Paste it. So this script is designed to send an email using the Gmail SMTP server the command line. So first is our shebang line which is uh, which is being bash. Then the user input prompts. This will read up your email ID. Then it will also ask for the sequence email. Then you need to enter your Google app password which we will just copy. Then we need to enter the subject for the name also. Then the third part is reading the email body. This section will prompt the user to enter the body of the email. Then the next section is sending the email using curl. This part of the script will just curl to send the email. Hyphen S, make sure it runs silently. This is the URL. This specifies the SMTP server with SSL on port 465. Then the mail from sender specifies the sender email address. Then this is for receiver. And also, Provide the sender's email and uh, Google app password for a location. This line sends the email content, including headers and body. Then this is the final part. Here we are using if else. 
the final part checks the exit status of the curl command. If the exit status is equal to zero, then it will return the message email sent successfully. And if it's not equal to zero, then it will return the message failed to send the email. So let's save the file. Now our next step is make file executable. Let's change the file permission to make it executable. For that command is chmod plus x email.sh. Email.sh is our script file which we have created. Now our next step is run the script. So let's copy this command and paste it. Now it will ask for your email ID. Then enter the recipient email ID. Then use the thread. I'll be sending mail to myself. Now you need to give the Google app password which we have created. Let's copy it. Test it. Enter. Then enter the subject of me. I this is a test mail. Enter. Now we need to enter the body of the mail. You can write a message. Hello. This is your test mail. Now to end the input, press control plus B. So as you can see, our email sent successfully. So let's verify it. So go to your email box. So as you can see, the mail is sent successfully. And you can also give the message which we have written. Hello, this is the test email. It is generated by the test device. So today, we have done send the emails with the shell scripting. And this approach is especially useful for automated notifications. There are other some other routine communications with shell scripting. You can ensure timely and efficient information exchange. So that's all for today, guys. Thank you.